Now you get to stop listening to me and you get to hear from our beautiful, wonderful uh, partner, Rihanna Lynn. I love her so much. Uh, she is the founder and CEO of Journey Foods. Please give her a round of applause as she joins the stage. I love you. Sorry. That's my favorite person. I just want you to know, like when I, when I came up to her a couple of months ago, I was like, you know what, we do these events all the time, sometimes together, sometimes separately. I, I do a, um, I'm always honored to speak uh, at Food Tank events, and I just thought, you know, we're always thinking about what the future of food is, the things that like affect us every single day, and how can we bring more people together to really collaborate and, and think through ways to creatively merge together our energies and, and come in. And, and digital futures kind of just like sprouted out. We didn't have a lot of time and space for this. So um, I appreciate everyone that showed up tonight. And first, let me start by thanking um, Danny, Bernie. Kinsey, Elena, um, and the food team here. Uh, just super, super thankful and grateful for the work that you've put in and organizing this week. Truly, with it, this is a sixth event, I think. Um, sixth, fifth day, sixth event. So thank you so much. Uh, whole Chain team, Mark Kaplan, uh, and the rest of the Whole Chain team, uh, Carrie Derry, uh, the, the Food Week, Climate, Climate Week, Food Tank Climate Week volunteers, all of the suppliers and partners, WNYC Green Space is such a cool space to host these events in. We're live streaming on YouTube right now, so thank you. Um, my Journey Foods team, Vernell and Zach, we couldn't have done this week without you, so I'm so grateful um, for, for Journey Foods. I am the CEO and co-founder of Journey Foods. We are, let me just, I'm, I'm carrying a lot. I'm, I'm about to moderate a little panel, and I'm ready to dance. I'm so happy to see so many friends here. Uh, so, uh, Journey Foods, we are um, we're building the world's most actionable ingredient database. What does that mean? I don't want to get you too far on the technical details, but we're really focused on making sure that we're not just building this idea of like data and AI is gold, but also that we're making sure that we're creating a very uh, intentional architecture around global ingredients so that when we design the way that we think about nutrition and sustainability and costs and the way that you're affected when you shop, uh, the, the companies that prepare the foods that go to the grocery stores and to the markets every single day um, have a, a really clear understanding of what consumers need. And so um, as our team thinks about the next phase of um, our product, and I'm, I'm just up here for a couple minutes, we recently launched Guava. It's, it's launching publicly next month. Our goal is to fully connect consumers to the supply chain around consumer data um, you can actually download it now, but we don't have the data in there yet. It's at withguava.io. <laughs> um, so our Guava app is for full transparency into cost, nutrition, and sustainability um, insights, both on Google Play and uh, the, the Apple App Store, into uh, millions of products, textiles, cosmetics, and of course, food and beverage. We're launching alcohol and other textiles soon. Um, but we're just so excited to continue to build a great database and to think about ways that we can creatively be an awesome software some company. So I wanted to say thank you really quickly. 